What would I be doing during if it was an equal money system? I'm not really sure what I would be doing. I probably wouldn't be doing much more, much differently than I'm doing right now. Teaching little kids. Not working too much per week. I might actually be working more if money wasn't, wasn't involved in it. I might actually even travel more. Because sometimes when I think about traveling these days, it's, you know, I, I associate, there's hassles associated with it. Also, going to airports, making sure things don't get stolen. I think the world will be a tremendously different place under an equal money system. Certain crime will just about come to an end. Corruption. I'm certain that so much would or will move so much more freely. It's just movement uh, could be facilitated so much more than it is right now. I mean, now, nowadays, nothing's really designed to be easily done, facilitated. Everything, the facilitation aspect of something, of everything in this world now, is based on the amount of money spent. The more money you spend, the easier it is to do something. I mean, it's just simple. People who have cars jump in their car and go, or motorcycles jump on their motorcycle and go somewhere, get to the store. People without cars have to take buses, trains, and subways. People who want to travel, look at how they travel. People who have the big money, they travel first class. They walk to the front of the lines, they get in the airplane at the very beginning, they get off the airplane at the very, at the very first to get off the airplane. We live in a society that discriminates, is entirely discriminatory. The only equality is based on the discriminatory factor, which is based on the amount of money you have or don't have. More money you have, less discrimination you face. Less money you have, more inconvenience, more discrimination you face. So, in an equal money system, first thing I would for sure do probably is continue doing what I'm doing in terms of working, teaching. Probably live in a smaller house, um, <laughs> nice cabin in the woods, little cabin in the woods would be just okay with me, fine with me. And uh, I think I would work more because it wasn't so, so, something that I felt like I had to do or was obligated to do or was by working, going to work, putting myself in a position of being the slave and the person paying me being the master. It's an aversion I continue to have with regards to anything to do with money, working, etc. It's, it's just a slave, master, psycho master, slave psychology. That's what money is all about, keeping people enslaved. So I'm, I'm, I support an equal money system. I'm all for it. Um, I lower my standard of living? I don't, I don't really think so. But I don't really care. Uh, <laughs> um, an equal money system, for me, uh, the importance of it it's more for that which I don't see, that which I don't experience. Yeah, 
So, equal money system. Ideally, fan my fantasy under an equal money system. <laughs> I'm living in the woods, in a log cabin. It can be small, doesn't matter. Teaching. That's about it. Yeah. There we go.